there my beautiful Geminis and welcome to your how do they feel about you love tarot reading for the month of January. So Gemini in this reading we are going to be looking into each zodiac signs feelings for my Geminis for the month of January. So in the description box below you will find the timestamps to this reading. I will also pin a comment in the comment section with the timestamps. Gemini, please remember that time is fluid. Everyone has their own divine timing and their own divine order from spirit. Also, Gemini, please also keep in mind that you can check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs because not all messages will resonate with every Gemini out there. So please check out your other chart placements. So Gemini, your card will be the main card that's always out right here with your Gemini energy coming through. And then whatever zodiac sign we're looking into is going to be over here. So let's get started we're gonna go in order and we're gonna start off with aries feelings for you so gemini let's see what's coming through let's start it off spirit for my gemini what are aries feelings for gemini for the month of january 2021 what are aries's feelings for gemini what are aries's feelings for gemini what are Aries's feelings for my beautiful Geminis? All right, so if you're dealing with an Aries here, Gemini, we have the Page of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Three of Swords. So it looks like this person is hurt over you or hurt by something, but they're still willing to try for this connection. So if you are dealing with an Aries here, Gemini, they may have apologies for you. They may have hurt you or they feel as though they want to restart this connection on a fresh more emotional level two of cups. This person looks at you as their soulmate. They look at you as somebody that they can have a lot of mutual energy with a lot of mutual attraction and a lot of mutual love but there is heartbreak here with the three of swords so let's clarify this here my gemini's and see what's going on with this aries is feelings there may have been third party situation in the past and this person is willing to um, apologize and make it up to you so if an aries caused you pain it looks like they really want to make things better if you caused an aries pain it looks like they're still willing to work on this connection so let's clarify this here for you gemini and see what else is coming through we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Sun. Yeah, this person definitely wants to move forward here with you, Gemini, with the Chariot. They want to move in a more positive direction, for sure, with the Sun on the Three of Swords. They're very much looking at you as their happiness. No matter what happened here, they want to make things right. So, Aries, you may have got your... I mean, I'm sorry, Gemini, you may have gotten your heart broken by an Aries, or this is vice versa. Whoever cause the pain wants to make things right now so seven of pentacles here somebody may have been waiting for this person to want to make things right for quite some time with this seven of pentacles kind of looking at all of their effort and energy that they put into this connection seeing like you know is it worth it to continue and i feel like somebody's coming to the realization that they feel like it is worth it and they want to continue this connection I honestly do feel like there was some third party energy that came to light and now it's kind of like do we continue to work on this or not. I feel like it could have been some sort of energy of that there was another connection around but I definitely feel like Gemini, this Aries, they want to move forward. I don't know what you're going to do about it Gemini but they want to move forward and that's what it looks like. So thank you for the Aries is feeling spirit. Let's move on to if you are dealing with a Taurus. So what are Taurus's feelings for Gemini spirit? What are Taurus's feelings for Gemini for the month of January? What are Taurus's feelings for Gemini? What are Taurus's feelings for Gemini for the month of January? Thank you. All right, Gemini, so Taurus feels the Hanged Man, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Gemini, why have we got all these people waiting for you? 
This person is stuck. It looks like they're very stuck and it looks like they're waiting for you to reach out to them. So a Taurus is waiting for you. Definitely. It looks like they're very stuck on how to come towards you. This person may be very stubborn as well, this Taurus energy. It looks like they're kind of just in la-la land, honestly. Queen of Swords here. I really feel like they want to communicate with you, but I don't feel like they know how or they don't know how to come towards you here. Or they're waiting for you to come towards them. So let's clarify this here of Taurus's feelings for Gemini spirit. What are Taurus's feelings for Gemini? You may have gotten cut off from a Taurus. Or you may have cut off a Taurus. And they're kind of just in hangman, stuck, stagnant mode on what to do with this connection. If they even feel like they want to do anything with it. So we have here the Five of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and uh, the Page of Cups. Yeah, so I don't know what happened here between you and a Taurus, Gemini, but it looks like there was some sort of... It may have been an argument, or it may have just been like you didn't get what you wanted from this person, or they didn't get what they wanted from you. And I do feel like there's a lot of defensive energy coming from this person. Whoever this Taurus energy is with the Seven of Wands, it looks like they're very defensive towards coming towards you very stubborn of wanting to come towards you like i said page of cups underneath that queen of swords they want you to come towards them somebody has to apologize here it looks like it looks like something happened and there needs to be some sort of apology but i'm not really sure if the taurus is going to be the one to do it they look like very very like positioned in their power thinking that I don't know who this... I don't know. This Taurus person seems very entitled here, Gemini. Um, and I don't know if this is reversed or what, but somebody is waiting for an apology. And honestly, for some of you, Taurus is the one that messed things up and they are so entitled and they think that you should apologize to them. Um, yeah. Yeah. Or maybe you're the one who caused the drama here, Gemini, and they feel like you should apologize to them. It just looks like Taurus feels like you should apologize to them for whatever happened. Whether it was your fault or their fault, it looks like it was just like a moment of destruction here and nobody really did anything about it. And somebody's waiting for the other person to come towards them. And it looks like somebody's being very stubborn on making the first move. And I'm going to go with that as a Taurus. So that's what I got here for y'all on Taurus. So let's move on to if you're dealing with a fellow Gemini. So Spirit, what are Gemini's feelings towards Gemini? For the month of January, what are Gemini's feelings towards Gemini? Spirit, what are Gemini's feelings towards Gemini? What are Gemini's feelings towards Gemini for the month of January, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Chariot. Okay, so if you're dealing with another Gemini, they're very interested in reconciling with you. Or maybe you have a Gemini that wants to get out of the friend zone here. Three of Cups, very interested in coming together with you in a happy moment, a more blissful moment. I don't know why this Gemini here, it seems like they lost hope though. I feel like they think that you may not want to move forward with them or maybe that you're not interested in them more than a friend. But Gemini, whoever this other Gemini is, they're very interested in reconciling with you moving forward, having victory in this connection, but they're disappointed about something. So they're either disappointed that they think they may be disappointed because their own expectations. So that's what it looks like. It looks like this other Gemini, you know, they expected something to go a certain way and it didn't. And I feel like they're kind of like, not seeing the hope in this connection, but I feel like they're going to see the hope in this connection. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of coming together, some sort of sharing the love with each other that is going to be 
bringing back hope for this connection. Let's clarify this here. A lot of water energy, so definitely a lot of emotion with this other Gemini. Knight of Wands, five, um, Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Okay, so honestly here, Gemini, if you're dealing with another Gemini, I feel like if they're somebody from your past, I feel like you look at them as somebody who may be some sort of a player-like energy in and out. They only want to reconcile with you when they feel like they want to reconcile with you. But I do feel like whoever this other energy is, I feel like they're watching you, Gemini. So this Gemini is watching you, Page of Swords. They're looking to see what you're up to. They may be keeping some tabs on you as well. You may live at a distance from this Gemini. But it looks like they still want to work on this connection. But they, they, you know, this person, they need to come correct. I feel like this other Gemini, they don't come in the correct way. They come in very flighty. They come in very quickly and they don't stay for too long. But it, honestly, Gemini, if this is your relationship with another Gemini and they haven't come in, come back, it looks like they're planning to return back into your energy. I feel like for some of you Geminis, you may meet a fellow Gemini at work or through friends. So Gemini, you may be meeting a fellow Gemini energy that you're romantically interested in through friends or through work or something along those lines. And I feel like this person is very curious about you. So whoever this other Gemini is, they're very curious about you, Gemini, but they need to learn how to come towards you in the correct manner. But I, I think they're, they're coming up with something. I think they're thinking about a different way to come towards you. Work may be a factor here. This person may work a lot. But that's what I have on another Gemini's feelings for you. So let's move through to Cancer. So for Gemini dealing with a Cancer, let's see what Cancer's feelings for you are for this month of January. So Spirit, what are Cancer's feelings for Gemini for this month of January 2021? What are Cancer's feelings for Gemini? What are Cancer's feelings for Gemini for January 2021? All right, so the Cancer feels the Ace of Swords that they want to talk to you, Gemini, the Emperor, and the King of Cups. All right, so this Cancer, they want to speak to you, Gemini, Ace of Swords. Definitely going to be receiving new communication from somebody who's a Cancer here. If you are dealing with one or interested in one, whatever the case may be, it looks like they want to talk to you. And, you know, mm, I feel like this person, you know, Gemini, this Cancer, they feel a lot of feelings for you. But they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know that they have feelings for you here. With this Emperor energy, they're trying to stand their ground as best as possible and not really let you see what they're feeling. And I'm not surprised a Cancer would do that. So let's clarify this here. But nonetheless, they're going to come with some sort of communication. So it looks like they, they can't stand their ground for too long, but they're going to try their best. But they're going to want to talk to you here, Gemini, or you and this person. You're just going to have a lot better, more mature communication with each other if you're already in connection with them. So let's clarify this for what are Cancer's feelings towards Gemini. All right, we'll take this. Seven of Pentacles. Empress. Ooh, Gemini. This Cancer looks at you as their one. They look at you as the person that they could be with, they could marry. They look at you as their divine counterpart, somebody that they lived lives with, somebody that they have been married to in the past as well. And we also have the moon. Oh yeah, oh my God. Gemini, this Cancer, they are, I told you, the moon. They're hiding the way that they feel about you. Their emotions for you, Gemini, run very deep. But with this Seven of Pentacles, it's like they're staring at all of their emotions. They're staring at all they have to give. And they're like, do I want to express myself fully to Gemini? Honestly, Gemini, it looks like they're pretty scared to. But they're going to say something with the Ace of Swords. They're going to say something that they've been waiting to say. With that Seven of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. It may not be full on, oh my gosh, Gemini, I love you. But you're read between the lines, Gemini, with this Cancer. Because 
they really look at you as their divine counterpart, the person that they can marry, the person that they can grow with, the person that they can have children with. Their father to their mother, their mother to their father, whatever the case you want to call it. But this cancer is hiding the way they feel. But they're going to say something they've been waiting to say. But I feel like there's more that they could express. I feel like they're still holding in stuff. But they, they feel a lot towards you here, Gemini. Wow, the Emperor and the Empress, and they clar and she clarified him. That's big energy. Wow. Okay, so that's what I have for y'all on a Cancer's feelings. And let's see what it's going on with the Leo's feelings for Gemini. So, Spirit, what are Leo's feelings towards my Gemini's? For January 2021, what are my Leo's feelings for my Gemini's? Please show me Leo's feelings for Gemini. How does Leo feel about Gemini? All right, let's see, Gemini. So we have the High Priestess, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Swords. So the Leo looks like a bit pulled back, Gemini. The Leo looks like they've lost hope in this connection with the Five of Cups. Or they feel like things are not going their way. The High Priestess is here, so they're definitely trying to listen to their intuition. The Leo may be a bit pulled back, but it seems like the Leo is pulled back because they're disappointed in the way this connection has gone. Six of Swords is here, though, so the Leo may be moving away from you here, Gemini, because of their disappointment. So let's clarify this. Spirit, what are Leo's feelings towards Gemini. What are Leo's feelings towards Gemini? Please show me Leo's feelings towards Gemini. All right. Justice, Queen of Swords, and the King of Wands. Okay, the Leo, honestly, Gemini, makes a little bit of no sense um, because they are pulled back from you, but they still want to come towards you. So I don't know what happened here or what has happened between you and a Leo where they lost hope in this connection, but they lost hope, but they still want things to be figured out. So definitely, I feel like Leo thinks that things have not been going their way with you. So with justice coming through, it looks like they want things to be corrected. They want more balance and they want things to be righted and things to be fair with you. But I don't know why they're not really making too many moves, but it's it's a bit contradicting. It's like they're pulled back, but they want their karmic justice from you. And King of Wands is here, so they're interested in nurturing this connection. But I feel like the Leo feels like if... If you're not going to give them the energy and the effort, then I feel like they have no problem moving away from you. But I feel like if you were willing to give them the effort and energy or possible communication, they may be wanting more communication from you. That may be what they are disappointed about. I feel like the Leo would then be more interested in seeing where this would go. But Gemini, there's some sort of energy of the Leo feeling like they're not getting what they want. So if they're not getting what they want for too long, it looks like they may book it the other way. But if the Leo starts to get what they want, it looks like they're going to be a lot more interested in you. So that's how the Leo feels. So thank you for being, um, well, thank you for being here. I think I'm doing the dailies. It's kind of reminding me of that, but all right, there we go. We got Leo's feelings. Let's see what's coming through for Virgo's feelings for Gemini. So Spirit, what will be... I'm sorry, what are Virgo's feelings for my Geminis for January? What are Virgo's feelings for Gemini? Can I, ooh, can I please have what are Virgo's feelings for Gemini spirit for January 2021? What are Virgo's feelings for Gemini? All right, let's see. So we have the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Oh, Virgo loves you, Gemini. Virgo wants to work together with you. They want to put the work in. They want to put the effort in. They want to work 
as a team they don't want to work against you this virgo they want to take care of you with this six of cups they want to take care of this connection they want sweet energy they want caring energy this person definitely wants to take care of you here my gemini so virgo is in it to win it knight of pentacles they are definitely maybe a little bit slow with their offers or just slow with their stability but i feel like you're really gonna know that virgo is on your side you're really gonna know that virgo wants the best for you and they want the best for this connection you may share children with virgo but it may not doesn't have to be you may work with virgo or you may have met them through work but Ooh, this Virgo, they miss you as well. So for some of you, a Virgo is missing you and they want to be in your energy again. They want to work together with you as a team. They want to see if this will work out. For others of you, Virgo, uh, for others of you, Geminis, if you're already in a connection with a Virgo, they, oh, they are just kind of smitten over you, Gemini. They really want to do whatever they can to help you or do whatever they can to help this connection. So let's clarify this for Virgo's feelings towards Gemini. What are Virgo's feelings towards Gemini? We have the Six of Swords, the Moon, and the Nine of Cups. Oh, they love you, love you. Oh my gosh. See, with this Moon card coming out on the Knight of Pentacles, this person, the reason why they are slow is nothing really too crazy. It's almost because they don't want to move too fast and scare you. That's what I feel like it is. I feel like this Virgo, they would move quicker, but I feel like they're just kind of trusting in the process and going slow and steady because they don't want to be too quick and crash you know they want this connection to go at a good pace six of swords here this person is willing and wanting to work together with you to move to much more calmer peacer peaceful and more harmonious waters so definitely whoever this virgo is they want happiness they want peace they want for emotional fulfillment with you. This Virgo is all about you here, Gemini, and I feel like you're going to know for sure in the month of January. This person is willing to put in the effort and the energy to work on this connection, make things happen, and if you're trying for a child with a Virgo, it looks pretty positive, but this Virgo... If they're from your past, they miss you and they're coming back around and they want to know, hey, like Gemini, do you miss me too? And I honestly feel like you may be very interested in working together with this person as well. This is beautiful. I love this. So that's Virgo's feelings towards you, Gemini. Let's see who's next. We have, we have fellow, sign, fellow air sign Libra. So let's see, Spirit, what are Libra's feelings towards Gemini? What are my Libra's feelings towards my Geminis? What are Libra's feelings towards Gemini for January 2021? What are Libra's feelings towards Gemini? Okay. So we have the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Fool. Okay, so Libra wants to start again. Libra wants to start fresh. Libra wants to start new with you. So if there was an ending with Libra, Ten of Swords, Libra is very, very interested in starting over with the Fool. They want a new beginning. They want a fresh start. They want to see if this can go somewhere now. Can you two come back into balance is the question. That's what Libra wants to know. Libra wants to know, Gemini, will you start over with me? That's what it looks like. If this is a newer Libra, they may want to know, hey, Libra, hey, Gemini, will you take the risk on love with me? So if you have just ended things with a Libra, it looks like they don't want things to end. If things have just ended with Libra, you may be meeting a totally new person that may be a Libra too. But I really get the vibe that this Libra just doesn't want this connection to end. So let's clarify this here. They want to bring back balance into this connection, it seems like. So whoever ended things here, either Libra regrets ending things or they want 
you to take them back. So let's see. We have the Hierophant. You may work with this person. Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. Oh yeah, Libra is all over you here. Libra is watching you. Libra is waiting. Libra is curious. Watching you on the internet. I mean, they could be watching you physically. I don't know if y'all live around each other, but... If you two are married, if you're married to a Libra and something happened, I definitely feel like there is definitely a big, big potential to start over. So if something happened with a Libra where something ended, even if you're in a commitment or not, they want to start over. They have apologies, they have offers, and they want to know, do you want to continue to grow with me or do you feel like this is something that's not salvageable? With the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles, you may know this person from work or from school, or you may be in a committed relationship with them. But I do feel like this Libra is very interested in committing to you and very interested in bringing back balance into this connection and just starting fully fresh, fully over in a more positive foundation. Because you may have been building with a Libra on a very shaky foundation and that's why things crumbled. And now this Libra wants to start over. So Libra wants to start over with you... Gemini, I feel like the choice will be yours. So let's see what Scorpio's feelings are for my Gemini. So spirit for Scorpio, what's Scorpio's feelings for Gemini? What are Scorpio's feelings for Gemini for January? Can I please have what are Scorpio's feelings for my beautiful Geminis? For the month of January, what are Scorpio's feelings for Gemini? All right, so Scorpio has Seven of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so Scorpio may be having dreams of you, Gemini, with the Seven of Cups. If that's not the case, it looks like they're pretty confused emotionally about you. They don't really know what to do, which way to go. You may be making them feel like they're an option, Gemini. So Scorpio may be feeling like an option. Page of Swords, again... Gemini, you got some people watching you here. Page of Swords, watching you, curious about you, wondering what you're up to, what you're doing. They may want to talk to you here, but I feel like Scorpio is very confused of how to come towards you. Nine of Pentacles, they are trying to find their value, but they also see you looking really good. So Scor oh, Scorpio feels like you just look amazing here, Gemini. So if you're single free Gemini here. It looks like Scorpio is doing their Scorpio thing where they're just watching you and they're waiting for their moment to strike. That's what it looks like. Scorpio sees you looking fantastic and it looks like they can't handle it. They can't handle it. So let's see. Let's clarify. What are Scorpio's feelings towards Gemini? They can't handle how good and how amazing Gemini is doing. Could be a totally new person that they feel like an option towards you, Gemini, because you are comfortably single, not really focused on anything. So let's see. Knight of Cups, the Lovers, and the Ten of Wands. Oh, you know what? Gemini, how amazing you are, how, how amazing you're carrying yourself is burdening this Scorpio. Like, it's so hard for this Scorpio to stay away from you. It's very difficult. You may be feeling this way about a Scorpio. It could be reversed, but damn, they, they, they feel burdened by how amazing you look. Scorpio does not want you to be with other people. Knight of Cups, they will figure out which choice and which option and which way to come towards you, right? Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups. Scorpio's going to grab one of those cups and say, this is the offer I'm bringing to Gemini. This could be somebody from your past that's been watching you for quite some time here with the lovers wanting to reconcile with you. But this could just be somebody who's been watching, waiting, and planning their offer towards you. And they're finally coming your way. And they, I feel like they've been in the shadows for quite some time. Waiting for their moment to, boom, come towards Gemini. So, the Scorpio is coming. It just looks like they're in their head for a bit. But I feel like they're so in their head because of how amazing you look. Or how amazing you're carrying yourself right now. And they're just like, oh no. If 
I need to have Gemini. Gemini cannot have nobody else. That's what it looks like. So that's what I have on Scorpio's feelings towards you, uh, Gemini. So let's see who's next. We got Sagittarius. So Spirit, what are Sagittarius's feelings for Gemini for the month of January? What are Sagittarius's feelings towards Gemini Spirit? What are Sagittarius's feelings towards my Geminis for the month of January? Thank you. All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Fool. All right, well, Sagittarius is extremely attracted towards you with this Eight of Wands. They want to talk to you. They want to move quickly into the future with you. They want success. They want growth for this connection. This Sagittarius could be a newer connection. If this Sagittarius is not new, then this person wants to start totally new with you with the Fool. They want to know... Gemini, do you want to take a risk on me? Do you want to take a risk on this connection? So the attraction this Sagittarius has for you is wild. I feel like if there's a Sagittarius interested in you, you're going to know that they're interested in you. I feel like they're not going to try to hide it here. Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this person is very interested in commitment with you, but I feel like they're very slow and cautious. But I feel like this Sagittarius may be slow and cautious because they're not necessarily sure how you feel about it, Gemini. But I do feel like you two are going to move very quickly into the future. I feel like this is a very hot and heavy connection between you and Sagittarius. So let's see. What else their feelings are here. Um, definitely Sagittarius wants to be intimate as well. So Sagittarius is wanting to get into my Geminis here. So let's see. Let's clarify this. The Gemini? I mean, I'm sorry. The Sagittarius, they may be a bit impulsive. They're kind of giving me impulsive energy. King of Wands, right? I just said it. I'm like, they kind of give me like really like they're they're coming towards you. We have the Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands. Ooh, Sagittarius wants to be with you, Gemini. King of Wands. They think you look amazing. They want to nurture this connection. They want to see where this connection can go. They want to see this connection grow. Nine of Cups. They Any sort of communication you give Sagittarius, they're happy with. Any sort of energy you give to Sagittarius, they're very happy with. I almost feel like you and Sagittarius may be getting it on here. I don't know. There seems to be a lot of passion here. Four of Wands. I feel like this person is very interested in coupling with you. They're very interested in being with you. If anything, a lot of Sagittarius want to marry my Geminis. So, wow. They want to move forward with you, Gemini. And um, like I said, you're going to know who this person is. Just because of the way their energy is coming through. Very hot, heavy. And they want it all with you, Gemini. And they want you to reciprocate that. I feel like there's a very high possibility, Gemini and Sagittarius, you two will end up in a relationship very soon. I like it. There we go. So that's Sagittarius' feelings for Gemini. They love you. So let's see. We got upcoming Capricorn. So let's see what Capricorn's feelings are for Gemini spirit. What are Capricorn's feelings for Gemini? Please show me. What are Capricorn's feelings for Gemini? Can I please have Capricorn's feelings for Gemini for January 2021? What are Capricorn's feelings towards Gemini? Okay, we have the Seven of Wands, the Magician, and the Queen of Swords. So the Capricorn's being a little bit defensive. The Capricorn is choosing their words wisely. They're not really saying too much here. I feel like the Capricorn is... I don't know what the heck they're doing. They look defensive. They look like they're standing their ground here. So I don't know if there was some sort of argument with this person. But... They are coming through as the magician. So they're trying to use their powers of manifestation here, dealing with you. So I feel like this person is interested in communicating with you, but I don't want them, I don't think they want you to know that. So let's clarify here. Queen of Swords, I do feel like they want some sort of clarity from this connection. So maybe if there was some sort of energy of a fight or 
an ending or whatever. It looks like Capricorn is trying to manifest you to reach out to them. It looks like Capricorn is trying to manifest some communication from you. But they're very defensive of being the first person to do it. So let's see. Let's clarify this. What's Capricorn's feelings towards Gemini? So we have the Ace of Wands, the Empress, and the Moon. Yeah, this person is fighting their feelings here. So Capricorn wants to come towards you, but they're fighting their feelings. They want you to do it first. They want you to be the initiator. But honestly, I feel like, Gemini, if you don't do anything for too long, I think they're going to give up the fight and come your way. The Empress here, they want growth, but they're also very interested on their own growth. It looks like Capricorn here, they're very all over the place. I feel like this person, they're very focused on themselves, but they are, dare I say, low-key focused on you. But they don't want you to know that, right? The moon is here. They don't want you to know that they feel something towards you. Or this person doesn't want you to know that they want you to come towards them. This Capricorn is just sitting in the background right now. But... It looks like they will give up their defenses and come towards you with a passionate offer, but there's some sort of energy here of, they may be very, what's the word I'm looking for here? The Capricorn may have like, like they're scared of what their mother will think or something like that. Not like what their mother will think of you. But like maybe, I don't know, maybe there was family issues in the past with this person or maybe this Capricorn is very family oriented and they're very nervous to bring people home or something like that. I don't know why I'm getting that, but uh, this Capricorn's defense defensive towards you, at least for a little bit, but someone's going to say something. I feel like it's going to be them. I feel like they're going to be like, well, can't be defensive forever. I have to say something. So a lot of passion here, but it's like the Capricorn doesn't want to feel it. But they can't help but feel it. So that's what I got about the Capricorn. So let's see. We got a Aquarius. Fellow air sign Aquarius. Let's see what Aquarius' feelings are for my Gemini spirit. What are Aquarius' feelings towards Gemini for January? What are Aquarius' feelings towards Gemini for January? Please show me Aquarius' feelings for Gemini. Okay. Let's see what Aquarius is feeling. They have justice, judgment, and the two of pentacles. Okay, so Aquarius looks like they want a second chance. Or they want a second chance to make things right. But it looks like they're going back and forth on how to come towards you with this two of pentacles. They don't really know how to come towards you. They don't really know what to say. So it looks like uh, Aquarius wants a second chance. They want to make things right or they want to feel justified. So let's clarify this and see why Aquarius feels this way. They want things to come back into balance. So for some of you, you're in a relationship with Aquarius and it's very hard for you. We're going to take that card. It's very hard for you two to find balance. Six of Cups. Maybe you're trying to find balance between taking care of your kids and being in a relationship if they're not that person's children as well. Six of Wands and the Empress. Yeah, you may have, you may share children with this person and they want to be justified. They want you two to find a way to bring back balance for this to this connection, possibly for the children with the Six of Cups. If that's not the case, like I said, Aquarius wants a second chance. They miss you. We have Six Six here, so that may mean something to somebody. We have the Six of Wands. They want your attention. They want your appreciation. They want your admiration. They're like, why is Gemini not praising me? Or why is Gemini not giving me attention? They really want your attention. The Empress is here. So I do feel like a lot of you, you may bear children with this person. Or you want children with this person. Or this person wants children with you. Nonetheless, it looks like Aquarius really wants your attention. They really miss you, but like a true Aquarius, they're going to spend time going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. How do I do this? How do I come towards Gemini? How do I tell Gemini I want to continue to grow with them? I don't know if there's like some custody battle that you're dealing with with an Aquarius that you want to win. I don't know. 
but they want attention they want admiration and this Aquarius they want to be praised or they want to give you attention and they and, and then in turn want your attention as well so that's how Aquarius feels about you Gemini so let's see how the Pisces feels about my Gemini's for the month of January. So Spirit, how does Pisces feel about Gemini for January? Last but not least, the Pisces. So let's see, Spirit, how does Pisces feel about Gemini for the month of January? How does my Pisces feel about my Gemini's for the month of January? How does Pisces feel about Gemini? All right, so we have the Magician, the Star, and the Three of Swords. Okay, so it looks like the Pisces is a bit hurt over this connection here with the Three of Swords. Or they feel like, Gemini, you can heal their broken heart. So you know which one is you. So let's clarify here. That's basically what it looks like. The Star, the Magician. This person is either manifest has manifested an energy like yours that's going to help them heal their broken heart or they're hurt over you and they're focused on their healing. So let's see, why is this here? For Pisces's feelings towards Gemini. We have the lovers. The King of Pentacles and the Fool. Okay, so honestly, it looks like Pisces, they have manifested this new energy. And it looks like it's you, Gemini. And they look at you as somebody that really is going to help them get away from their heartbreak. Really help them heal their heartbreak. So I feel like they feel like you are a soulmate of theirs, if not their soulmate, that they're very interested in committing to. So the Pisces is very interested in committing to you if they're a new person. Okay, if there's somebody that you already know, Gemini, Pisces seems hurt over you, but it's like they're trying to manifest a reconciliation. So it looks like Pisces is trying to manifest a new beginning between you and them. No matter how hurt they feel, they do look like they are trying to manifest you returning back into their energy. So if they hurt you, they're hurt that they hurt you. So... There's some sort of energy of manifesting a soulmate. So either Pisces thinks that you're the soulmate they manifested after being heartbroken, or they're trying to manifest you back into their life after either breaking your heart or getting heartbroken by you. So, wow, big energy here for the Pisces. So Pisces looks at you as somebody that is their wish, somebody that is their dream come true, somebody that they're willing to uh, commit to. So, very interesting here. Pisces either wants a second chance or they look at you as their second chance for love. Which is beautiful. So, that's how Pisces feels about you. So, there we go. Gemini, we have just gone through all of the 12 zodiac signs feelings for you. Let me know in the comment section below how y'all liked this sort of reading. And do not forget to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on social media if you haven't already in the description box below you will find all of my handles for instagram twitter tiktok all that fun stuff so i'll see everyone very very soon bye my beautiful gemini's